All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and you're up to Clown World number three twenty one. And in my shock and surprise, Bitshoot actually uh, processed this video extremely fast. So uh, if it keeps this up, uh, maybe uh, I can start doing seven two. Well, actually, no, I still can't do seven twenty p because the peer to peer thing system is not out for Bitshoot. So all I would be doing is uh, straining the Bitshoot processing servers for actual no gain. Um, so that means I guess we'll still stay at 540p. Besides, that's 540p. It also uh, the YouTube video also processes extremely fast too. So that is kind of nice actually. Oh yeah, what did I say? 321. Yeah, 321. So we're uh, so I guess before we go on, I just realized that part of the problem that I might have once I make my game is off-platform behavior because my bit shoot stuff. But I mean, I'm just not going. I mean, I'm still going to keep fighting the system. So that basically means I'm going to have a. That basically means my app won't be. My game won't be on uh, Google Play and iTunes. Because basically, I think because I was watching like what another guy did, like when he just spent eight months uh, making his own like you know action adventure game. It's a simple side scroller for mobile, and uh, pretty much all that he uh, what uh, what you call it. It was from nothing, and now he makes like 700 bucks a month, uh, which is pretty good. And it only costed him 2,500 bucks to develop. Uh, 1,800 of it was devoted to the advertising budget. So I'm trying to think, like, well, I mean, by the time he and then he got and then got big, got a lot of he had invited to conferences, and he had a lot of uh, you know a little bit of press, a lot, well, a lit or a, a little or a lot of press or whatever. Uh, the problem is, is uh, you know, they're gonna easily find my BitChute channel because obviously I'm plugging it everywhere, and then uh, and then what happens, right? Um, so and and then they'll scream, and then Google will start banning the app, maybe even terminate the YouTube account. So I don't know. I'm just trying to think of like leveraged places where I can use the app, right? Or uh, you know, get some sort of because I already figured because I already want to place it as anywhere as soon as many places as we can. Uh, and then get the advertising revenue for it because the advertising revenue is what's going to keep the uh, game, you know, fully marketed. Um, it'll be interesting to see if Twitch will also ban my game, right? Because it's going to be a hundred percent clean, right? So you know, but that may or may not matter. We'll have to, we'll have to see. Uh, the flip side is I can maybe play both. Maybe I can play like a double agent kind of thing, right? I don't reveal. Or I just say I'm a contributor to the project or something. I'm not sure you can even hide hide something like that. So I think maybe what I'll do is I'll put maybe I should put the game shit like the official game shit shit on a completely different channel. I think that's what I might do because I had a I had a different channel that was devoted to like game stuff, right? So I think maybe that's what I'll actually do. And then I'll have to delete the three previous stuff. So you know, I think I, I think that's actually how I might be able to do it. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh yeah. So Bitcoin searches for this week is seven. Uh, so it's coming to the end of the week. Yeah, it's like okay, not uh, nothing to write home about. It's the weekend. People are still paranoid about the China flu, so people are just you know taking a break. So Bitcoin Dallas is back up to 66.1%. 24-hour volume is a little under 79 billion, so it's pretty low. Bitcoin's at 83.42. Uh, Litecoin's at 53.42. So things are still going down a little bit. I don't know. I don't think these price patterns are accurate because it shows flatline. But then again, it hasn't gone below 8,300 either. So I guess flatlining is the correct move. So I don't know why this 24-hour change is so negative. Um... Dollar coins at 275.3 million market cap and Steam cryptocurrency. Uh, where is Steam? Uh, Steam is at 15.66 cents. So, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, Can, of course, doing nothing as usual. JMC coin is actually now at three to two to three, but it's really three to four. This is just a small amount. Um, in fact, someone just uh, seems to have just dumped a whole lot in like the past couple of minutes okay so it'll eventually recover um let's see but yeah once i come out with the game we'll uh you know i should at that point i should know how to program a payment gateway and then just hook something up between the i guess the wallet and then the game and then we'll just accept payments 
And then what I'll do, and then I think what it should do is it'll obviously generate a transaction hash. Uh, and then I'll just say, okay, uh, your, your thing's been confirmed on the network with one confirmation. Here's your in-game currency or, you know, whatever. Because I think the way I'm going to do it is everyone uses the crypto to buy the in-game currency. And then with the in-game currency, then you buy whatever you want. Because that way it should minimize the amount of, like, you know, transaction calls and stuff like that. Um, let's see. Uh, 404 is at 19 to 20. Uh, should really be 20 to 23. But again, the slowdown is affecting everybody. So, uh, you know, and this coin's getting hit pretty hard. Uh, apparently, when it's different. Wow. So, so someone actually dumped a bunch of cryptocurrency. It's probably the same asshole that's been dumping all their coins. Uh, JMC. So, I, I probably suspect something similar here, too, right? Uh, nothing really. Okay. So, the guy's just dumping all the coins. Um, so that being said, it should, it should recover pretty nicely, but again, it's the weekend and again, China flu, right? So everyone's just like demoralized and just doesn't feel like doing anything. Very, very annoying, but you know, what are you going to do? Uh, two by tunes at 56 to 63, uh, same old, same old, so not too bad. And of course, uh, compound coins actually improved a little bit. It's at 41.41 to 65.79 Satoshis of a dog coin. It's still pretty shitty, but you know, at least it's uh, something to work with. Now, I was thinking a lot about the game and then the Google App Store and all that stuff because going forward, that's going to be pretty important for the cryptocurrency. And then I have to you know prepare for the eventual uh, possible bannings or whatever. I mean, it might still work out, you know. They, they might still choose not to do anything, but I guess we'll see. Uh, Peter Schiff Bitcoin, because again, you know, it's going to definitely be 100% clean. It has to be because it's just a game, right? I don't want people going crazy, you know, uh, oh yeah, tell me this is going to be on YouTube. So, I don't know, I don't think, can I say, wait, yeah, I'm pretty sure I could say, you know, crazy white supremacy uh, Wignat stuff, right? It's just going to be a fucking game and then people just, you know, play boy battle royales or whatever, right? I'm actually, I'm actually coming up with the concept in my head of what the game is because I want, I want a little bit of everything, but all casual focus based. And I also didn't, um, and then also the course that I'm going to subscribe to for programming actually said that women, uh, um, I've got there are three different categories, right? But men like the shooters, of course, because we're men. But women like something else, and they don't really like the shooter as much. They like the more casual puzzle stuff. So the thing is, my game, I don't like puzzles at all. So, but I still want something casual so that even if women do play my game, which obviously I want them to because I'm going to help, you know, buy shit or watch ads, right? You know, they need something that can kind of get around the shooter part of the game, right? Because it's basically going to be like a kind of eventual casual version of like Tarkov. That's really what I want. I want a casual version of Escape from Tarkov. It'll still have a lot of the hardcore mechanics. But uh, one thing I think I'm going to do is... I'm not going to have insta kills because that's just not fun, right? Insta kills are fun in World of Warcraft because you respawn. So it's not really that big of a deal, even though Blizzard thinks it's a big problem, right? And, and they've designed their games ever since then. But in Tarkov, it actually is a problem because you lose all your stuff usually. So it's like a two for one, you know, punch in the face. And that's not good. It's not fun, right? Because it doesn't feel good to spend like, you know, 800,000 rubles, right? Or, I don't know, 10 hours, like, two hours of farming money just to lose it instantly to some asshole with a fucking pistol. That, that's just stupid, right? So, you know, I'm going to try to mitigate that. And I'm thinking of giving all players, when you go into, like, I don't know, I have to call it something else. When you go into the instance or raid, you know, you'll have an NPC that I'll actually just follow you around. And they'll be the, doing the, a little bit of the aimbot for you and taking the hits. So that makes it more casual friendly. So I still have to think about it. So anyway, I was thinking about all that stuff, and I didn't even look at the articles. But I mean, today's Saturday, so there's probably just nothing. So let's just take a look. Japanese explores digital yen as Facebook and China lead push for virtual currencies. Oh, so that's good. Japan coin, very good. That's what we want. Cardano creator Charles Hopkinson unveils... Uh, sure, okay. I don't want to read this, but... This is fine. He's doing something with something called the EU. All right. I don't. This sounds like an official government thing. It was probably just another private thing, but that's fine. More people getting into crypto. Uh, we don't care about movement. Federal agency hits Wells Fargo ex CEO with a lifetime ban and seventeen point five million dollar fine for the fake account scheme. Ah, yes, very good. 
Uh, you don't remember, Wells Fargo was scamming their customers and taking out fake loans uh, and abusing customer data. Uh, and then they all got their credits ruined because of that. And then Wells, and then, yeah, and then I guess, as a small, small measure of justice, but Wells Fargo made a lot of money off of scamming. So this is just like not enough. But, oh uh, well, something's better than nothing. Uh, tokenized, oh yeah, so Davos is uh, coming out with regulations for crypto. That could be weighing on things, but the articles I've been reading about so far sound just like, we just want a regulatory framework. So it doesn't really sound outright hostile. Hmm. Twitter blocks XRP play and platform amid rumors of Bitcoin integration. Uh, ooh, wow. Okay, so Twitter is, is, this is a problem. All these big social media companies like Facebook, they're banning crypto to create their own crypto. It's, uh, it's very, it's very um, antitrust behavior. But because our American government and Trump and everybody's just incompetent or corrupt, you know, they're, they're all getting away with this fucking financial murder. Kind of pisses me off. I mean, technically, this is still good for us because, you know, Bitcoin, whatever, but uh i just it's just it's just i just don't like it it'd be like when i make my game you know you require then you know you require me to do certain crypto instead of the crypto i want to do right because i'm willing to accept as much as i can but i gotta keep things simple for now and of course the priority is still jmc 404 and two by two coin so and then i'm going to pair it up with uh uh why did it this can go back up oh maybe i scrolled back up i'm going to pair it up with um uh monero so all right, so Peter Schiff, I don't want to hear any more of that idiot. Because, uh, again, i got to stay clean for YouTube, at least for now. CME Futures, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Bitcoin will never hit 5 will never go under 5K again. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be very hard. Uh, Bitcoin, of course, is the most popular asset, blah, 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 blah. Iran is going to get around Trump's sanctions, of course. Elon Musk opens up the Bitcoin finally. Um Okay, I wasn't aware Elon Musk was hostile towards crypto. Every time he's talked about it, I always hear he says nice things about it, or at least doesn't take a thing. And HR block sucks. These motherfuckers made me um, pay way more in taxes than I should. And even their stupid tax calculator says I still somehow owe, even though I put in half the income that I made from last year, or from 2018 into 2019's taxes last year, H&R Block still says I owe the American government, all the governments, $23,000 in taxes. But I made half the income. Like, what the, like, what the hell? Like, it, it doesn't even make any, it doesn't even compute properly. And I did not sign in, so it was not using my personal info. So I don't know what the fuck is wrong with H&R Block, but I'm going to be using e-file this year, and I'm just going to have to hope that they're actually good. Because their calculator says I owed a lot less. It also made much more sense for the numbers that I put in. So, Japan explores digital uh, Japan coin as Facebook and China are leading their push for their own uh, cryptos. Lawmakers in Japan are drafting a plan that will allow the country to create Japan coin. Reuters reports that a group consisting of 70 liberal Democrat Party lawmakers, not to be confused with American version, because everybody calls themselves liberal, conservative, and all, all these other countries, and it's actually very different, so you, know, you got to be careful. Uh, our draft had proposed to create Japan's own virtual currency in response to Facebook's Libras at China's efforts to issue a digital China coin. According to parliamentary vice minister, uh, I don't want to say the whole thing, China's moving towards uh, China coin, so we would like to propose uh, Japan coin to counteract it. Now, this is good. We want everybody in cryptocurrency because what's going to happen is everyone's going to be forced to create payment systems and all the support to create all these government coins. And then that actually will probably be open source. And then we could use that to create, you know, um, you know, better payment platforms and other uh, blockchain stuff. It'll definitely help me as a programmer because now I don't have to figure anything out. Right. I could just steal their efforts. Right. Because. Why do I have to do everything when I can just simply leverage the efforts of like, you know, 10,000 really smart pro computer programmers in Japan and China and America and, you know, everywhere else, right? It's, 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 it's so good. It's so good. So, you know, uh, yeah. And of course, that just means our cryptos are going to get stronger. Nakayama says the digital currency could be a joint venture between a private company and the government. The group plans to submit an official proposal as soon as next month. Meanwhile, the Bank of Japan is joining five other central banks to initiate research on central bank uh, things. 
Digital currencies continue to penetrate politics. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe recently announced the government will collaborate with this country's central bank to make yen more convenient as a settlement option. Yeah, there's a lot of yen floating around, so, I mean, okay. As the digital currency wars heat up, Japan's finance minister is expressing his sense of urgency. That's what we want to see. That means they're going to be motivated to do something quickly. According to ASO, if the digital China coin become, uh, gains traction for cross-border payments, yes, because they have first movers advantage, it would be a very serious problem for Japan, which uses American dollars for international settlements. I wonder if that would imply that it's also a problem for America, too. Um, which is actually good for us because, you know, I constantly complain about how America is not taking cryptocurrency seriously, right? You know, at least at the top, right? Especially because Steve Mnuchin, our Treasury Secretary and fucking idiot Donald Trump, who basically just can't keep it on his promises. Though he's actually been doing pretty well the past month or two, right? Because he realized, oh shit, it's election year. I should actually do my job. You know, he still uh, doesn't like Bitcoin because he's a fucking, you gotta be careful, he's gotta be a, he's a stupid boomer idiot, right? You know, I, I can't, I can't go too crazy, I can't go too crazy because, you know, f fucking YouTube community guidelines. So, um, yeah, so the good news is Japan's feeling the pressure, right, which is uh, America, one of America's largest financial partners aside from China, right, in terms of dollar volume. It's like, I don't know, I don't know how many billions or trillions, but it's, it, it, they're like number two or number three with China being number one, <laughs> China number one, like it's all up there, right? So Japan's getting in on it um, and they have they have the support of the top leadership at Japan. That's the most important part. So at least Japan's president and central bank and finance guy, whatever it's called there, right? You know, they're already like, we need Japan coin, we need it now because China is doing China coin, right? So America's still like, uh, Right, they're they're getting better in America. We're getting better here in America, but it's still slow. Right, I did the video yesterday about Hawaii, so at least that's something. Right, and yeah, but everyone's going to go towards cryptocurrency, and America will obviously come in medium to late to the party. But at least if that happens, uh, at least that should be the final leg in the this eventual bull run. You know, um, of course, I still kind of wish that America would still do so, do something now, just to kickstart this. This little slump we're going through. Um, I guess we'll just use this as a thumbnail. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or my bit shoots at bitshoot.com forward slash real Johnson Chan. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. Strike so out this channel to 486 subscribers and beyond, because that's what I had on uh, YouTube. Even though I'm posting this on YouTube, I kind of don't expect it to. Well, I mean, maybe we'll see. But I'm definitely putting everything in a bit shoot because at least if when if and when everybody goes ban happy, you know I'll still have my bit shoot. So also it looks like uh, bit shoot has actually solved their processing problems because this thing is processing so fast and so quickly. It's amazing. Um, so maybe uh, if this keeps up for like another few days, perhaps I'll actually bump this quality up to 720 and test it out with this uh, with bit shoot because this was. Because I uploaded this video like a few minutes ago, essentially. Now it's already processed in BitChute. So yeah, Twitter, uh, BitChute's really, uh, really working hard. So I think uh, they deserve uh, money at some point. So anyway, I'll see you all in tomorrow's videos. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Uh, we've got some good plans uh, for uh, the cryptos, right, to help this thing along. Because it's not enough that, you know, this thing's... Oh, yeah, now people are dumping the 18, 20... No, it already did dump today. Oh, I don't know. But someone, someone's starting to, you know, just dump all their coins. So, all right, that's fine. You know, they can go bankrupt. And then, uh, you know, we'll, um, we'll uh, you know, well, actually, when I come out with the game eventually, right, you know, we'll uh, scoop this all up. And then we'll, it should, say, it should stabilize the price and make it a an actual use case. Because that's actually what matters. Because you can't just keep creating more and more cryptos. You have to create a use case. So, uh, yeah. That's what we'll do, and I'll still look into uh, maybe generating certain types of loot and put it on the blockchain with Ethereum. So that way we can also get some, you know, uh, uh, you know, blockchain advertising. It'll be interesting to test to see if Ethereum will actually ban uh, my app too when all the craziness goes over. But I think I, th I think I actually should be able to get into it. Um, get the app on like you know those websites that advertise D apps, right? So that's free marketing. 
Because I do want people to play my games and uh, make money off of it, because that's what I always wanted to do. So you just simply play the game, you get an item, and now you make money. So, yeah, it's going to be good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. So, see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, you know, uh, watch out for that China flu stuff. It's uh, <laughs> it's scaring people, even though it really shouldn't. But, oh well, what, do you, what can you do? Johnson Chan. JMC coin, 404 coin, and this is very good news for us. Japan is going J uh, Japan coin mode, and it's uh, they're highly motivated. So uh, you can't stop this bull run, right? Bitcoin go will go to a million dollars. Um, I think that's what it is, right? But 500k would still be pretty good. But it just again depends on how big of a frenzy and percentage um, percentage demand for crypto this bull run is going to be. I just hope it'll last a little more than a year and a half. So.